going to visit Robert. And I uh, had sticked him off for all are you? And uh, decided to spend some private time with him in a neighboring state. And I noticed he was spending a lot of time on the phone. And uh, his year was coming to an end. We were about to come back to Uganda. He was about to graduate. So I asked Robert, what on earth is going on? Who are you talking to on a continuum? And he said to me, Mom, I need to tell you something. I met this girl. I haven't told that yet. But when I look at her, I see posterity, I see a legacy, and I see continuity. And I thought to myself, what has my young son gotten himself into? I did not comment. I wanted to see how long this would last. The next time we talked, Marina was a few days away from Uganda, and we decided we wanted to meet her family before she came. We met her family on Skype, which I believe is very prophetic. The footsteps of the righteous are ordered by God. The moment I saw Malina's parents, I was like Elizabeth meeting Mary, the mother of her savior. I too felt something within my king. Our spirits were knit together. And I noticed that Kiro was a woman of faith. She was not worried that her daughter was coming to Africa. She was not overtly concerned. She wasn't very protective. And it wasn't in a careless kind of way. It was in a faith-like way. And I want to thank you so much, Alvis and Kira, for walking in faith. You didn't have to, but you trusted us with your daughter. She came to visit us before you came. You allowed us to know her, and today we are standing here and we are saying glory to God for the gift of our Lord. I said it once, I'll say it again. Robert Malina is everything I have ever wanted in a wife for you. She's a virtuous woman. She's a woman who fears the Lord. And she is a risk taker. Ever since the time of John the Baptist, the kingdom of God has been attacked by violence, and the violence taken by force. And I know Malina has that kind of faith where she takes everything by force. Her journey to Africa in faith, her decision to marry you and stay, I believe are attributes of a very strong woman. And I stand here today to glorify God and to testify of his goodness. God has not let us down. Amen. I want to encourage all the parents that are here. When the Bible says our children shall be mighty on the land, it is a reality. It is a promise. And it is an assurance that we will not leave our children. Indeed, children are a gift from God, and we are blessed that we have some in our quiver. Robert, I want you always to remember the rock from which you were born. You are an altar baby, as your father said. We prayed, we fasted, we believed God to have you. And whatever is born of God is sustained of God. We have been praying and fasting until now. Do not forget your foundation. 
Your foundation is a foundation of the altar. It is a foundation of pulling down principalities, powers of darkness, rulers of powers of darkness, wickedness that exalts itself on high. You have seen my fa your father and I travel in the spirit, and you know that we wouldn't be where we were if it wasn't for spiritual warfare. I'm glad that you have been raised in that atmosphere, and I have seen you sustain that atmosphere. And even coming back now and having this winning has been a state of faith, considering the circumstances. For those who know, you know. So Robert, do not forget your foundation. We are praying people. We are believing people. And we are faith people. I want you always to remember purpose. The word of God says the purpose of God will prevail. So marriage is so easy now. When you are a size zero and you're jumping and dancing and the sparks are still flying. But a few years from now, there are things that might change. But the purpose of God will prevail. The Bible says, for this purpose, a man shall leave his man and father. Marriage is about purpose. And it is the purpose of God that has kept you, Father, and I together. I don't mean that romantic feelings are not important, or attraction and chemistry is not. All that is. But purpose will prevail. Why has God put you together? What are you going to do for Him together? What will you achieve together? Those things will keep you together. Those things will keep you knowing me. Those things will keep you loving me. And those things will keep you praying together. I want to appreciate everyone that has been by me um, since Robert was a baby. I want to thank uh, the Miracle Center family. Especially the group of intercessors. This is not my victory, this is our victory. Thank you so much for your prayer. There are so many people that with me are just breaking their fasts right now. They have been praying, they have been seeking God, they have been trespassing these tents in prayer, trespassing the sanctuary, and um, I haven't been alone. So I just want to say thank you so very much. I want to thank my family. I want to thank, um, I'll start with thanking Uncle Ted. Uncle Ted was with me in the labor ward when I had you. Um, I want to thank Aunt Margaret in absentia. She was also with me in the labor ward. I want to thank my brother-in-law, uh, Bishop John Sintamo, who was also uh, with me in the labor world. I was privileged to have so many people. Um, I want to thank my parents, Professor and Mrs. St. Pewa. They were with me in the UK when I had Robert. So you can see that Robert was a much awaited baby. And, uh, and, and this has been a, a much awaited ceremony. I want to appreciate and honor and thank Her Excellency, the First Lady, Thank you so much for honoring and blessing this ceremony. Indeed, who are we that we should have you here? And we thank you for the spiritual invitation. We don't take it lightly when a fountain of honor will stand and make declaration on our children. We believe that it is a turning point, a new era, and a new dispensation for them. Thank you. Thank you very much. I want to thank um, Susan Wanakida, uh, my sister-in-law. Uh, thank you. Thank you. You are the husband. I want to thank my husband's family. Um, 
some of them are around and some of them are not, and some of them are within the vicinity and others are around are working. Thank you very much. Um, I want to thank Uncle Arthur who has been rope screen. It's amazing the age difference. I, I, I never felt there was an age difference. They, they, they talked video games together, they talked uh, TV together, they did so many things together. Thank you so much, um, Uncle Arthur, for being uh, a rope screen. Um, I want to thank the organizing committee. Um, uh, under the circumstances, I couldn't work with many people. So I still work with family. I just want my, my brothers to stand up. Um, Ted, Arthur, wherever you are, your wives as well. Um, Pastor Julia Orosh. And uh, Mr. Henry Mwaga and Mr. Atamachiri, thank you very much um, for everything that you have done. Last but not least, I want to thank my husband. Uh, thank you so much, honey, for being a good father, a good role model, but most importantly, for being in the lives of our children.